Hi, my name is Henrik and today there is a topic I want to bring up uh, and uh, that is Taylor Swift's release of uh, the era tour that are available to rent on several video on demand platforms. But of course it didn't took long for people to find other ways to distribute it and guess what? Taylor Swift broke the new record. Wow, I didn't see that one uh, coming. The Eratur is a stunning experience. For the most part, it's colorful, vibrant, effectful, and something is always going on. But the image is also struggling on several occasions because Taylor Swift is filmed against a giant screen where you can see every pixel. This kind of pattern often causes memory and is challenging to begin with. But with the lower bandwidth, the grain and the noise from the compression algorithm, that doesn't help, and it becomes very apparent here. The film also lacks Dolby Vision, which is strange because it's free on streaming platforms. And on physical media, Dolby requires a fee. Dolby Vision lets you get more details in the brighter parts and in the darker parts as well. Something this concert film would very much benefit from. But still, there are scenes where you can see Taylor Swift in close-up and you can see every hair on her head and the picture just looks perfect. Still, as it is now, I won't rate it higher than 6 out of 10. How is the sound? The sound is usually where you can tell the most difference between a stream and a physical release. But it sounds uh, great, it's mixed in Dolby Atmos, uh, where the concert fills up my room and Taylor Swift's voice feels like a gentle summer breeze. I do miss some of the best that I experienced from the theater, just as everyone else I went to serve this movie at the cinema. I got the can and the bucket that had a ticket to a VIP auditorium and it was a great experience. But they have equipment for millions and my personal equipment can't even compare to that. Uh, I will uh, need to have a physical disc to compare to, but since that is not possible. But I will still uh, give it, uh, this a verdict of 8 out of 10. Some of you have noticed that they have used songs from different performances and that, that her song sounds different. They probably did this because they wanted the best performance, but to make it sound coherent, they used the same sound for each track and just insert footage over. Even if uh, there are really good tools for lip syncing today, it is tough uh, to get footage from another show to match the sound from the show you're using. And they can't just switch tracks in the middle of a song because that will be too noticeable. The most obvious uh, that they are, there are different shows is how Taylor's hair goes from straight to curl and back to straight uh, with just seconds apart. Uh, I don't think uh, she made her hair different, uh, but uh, if it's moist in the air, that can happen. So you will sometimes see this in films and TV shows too. However, my biggest concern at the moment is that there hasn't been a word about a physical release yet. The Era Tour is a film that really will benefit from a good physical 4K Ultra release. It's also an experience that deserves it. So come on Taylor, give us a physical release of the Era Tour. I don't even care if you brought it out in 12 different colors. I just want one physical release. And that was all for me.